do you want to learn how to create a slideshow with beat detection in Femora X just like the one you're watching right now then stay with me I'll show you how hey welcome to VC creator secret tutorials before we get started if you're new here I encourage you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I publish new tutorials every week. For more unique awesome videos like this, check the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, in order to pull this off, we're gonna need some audios, especially a strong a music with strong beat and we have them in Femora. So you can go to the audio library now search for any music that have strong beats and if you have it from outside you can use it so you have to detect the beats beat detection i've done that already so you need to do is to right click on it and click on um, beat detection i need to do that you know for you this is the one i'm gonna use i've done that already you can choose any of the music and right click and click on beat detection and you will need to, to create a, a marker a red and and green or a blue day one for up beat and the other one for down beat if you want the only up beat you can use it so now all you the next thing we need to do is to drag down our images when we drag down our images we want to cut the images based on the markers on it especially the red ones those are the upbeats you know markers so we can drag our images in and cut it in between the markers then go make some cropping and zoom into the image and you can split it in the middle based on those green in between the images in between the green markers you can split them then go and make some changes to the zoom to make sure it shows different, you know, movements. So do the same to all the other parts. When you're done with that drag down our second image, also make sure you cut it in between the bits, especially the red, the red one. So then go and, and crop and crop it. Right click on it, go to crop and zoom and make some changes to it. Just the inner box it could be smaller or larger depending on how fast you want the movement to be. And in between these images you can cut and right click, go to crop and zoom. Then you can reverse, you can reverse the, 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 the zoom and click OK. Now do the same to all the other images. So drag them down one after the other and cut in between the markers. Those are the bits, the high and the low bits. So cut in between then. Go to pan and zoom and crop the image. Crop your image and add zoom to it. And you can split it in between and go back to zoom to crop and zoom, pan and zoom, then you swap, you swap the image, you can reduce it and swap it. And just follow the same process and do the same to all your other images. You can bring in as many images as you want. Just make sure you're cutting, you're cutting between the red and the, and the blue lines. The red one are the off bits. So cut between the red, the red markers. And you can call you can cut in between the low markers too or green markers too so that will determine the movement of your image to the bit so take your time and do the same to all the other images So when we're done with adding and cropping our images, let's pre-render it for a smooth playback. When the rendering is done, we can go ahead and play it and see what we have so far. If you're not satisfied with it, make some changes. So click and play 
and this is what we have so far the beating the pictures will go with the bits that's what bit detection will do now if the images are not enough you can drag down some and add. let's add a couple of images so cut in between the, the bits in between the light the red marker and go to crop and zoom and add zoom to your image crop the image and add zoom to it We can pre-render it just to get rid of the red line and make the playback smaller. So when we're done, we can go over it and see what we have. So click OK, click play, and this is what we have so far. We can hear the, the sound because I'm muted. But when I'm done, I'm gonna play it and you're gonna hear and see how it is. So I think so far we're pretty good to go. Just a couple of things, let's go through it. You can move the marker around and you can add or remove any image that doesn't match and you can follow the beat and cuts in between or something so we can there's a couple of things we need to do we need to get rid of this blank you know space by the side so go to effects and go to background background blur and drag one and drop we got two images like that so drag it and just drop it on it don't drop it on the image but on the track at the top of the image and it will block the blank space something like this this is exactly what we going for you can pick anyone that suits you and we'll have exactly something like this so we don't need all the black you know uh, by the side so when you when you're done i think we're done with this video If you enjoyed this video and find it valuable, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so I can keep making them. For more awesome and unique videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also be sure to check out my other videos on this channel as well. And don't forget to leave a comment below, I love it. Be sure to watch the videos on the screen that we handpicked for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.